Hey there guys, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Almost morning here right now, almost midnight. So I'm going to be doing a couple of episodes for you, uh, fragrance reviews, and then I'll do a morning thoughts episode after a long time. Uh, not fragrance related, but something from our daily life. So some of you watch that, some of you like that. Hopefully you like that as well. So let me just tell you, first of all, I do not look uh, very fresh or alive because I have taken like two days off just for my work. And, uh, you know, just want to take some break and enjoy, you know, peaceful and quiet. So I was away a little bit, but I was doing my reviews on and off and then I was doing some other work. But the whole city was so hot, man, for the last few days, so hot. And, uh, you know, when you go out, it's just so hot, man. So anyway, so I look like I'm a little bit sunburned. <laughs> I am always burned. But anyway, so the fragrance that I'm going to review, um, hopefully you can hear me properly. First fragrance I want to do. I don't know if there are any review. I don't know if anybody reviewed this, but last time I checked, there was none. So this is a 2023 release. And this is from House of Karl Lagerfeld. They have this whole line of Boa de something. Boa de Vetiva. Boa de, um, I don't know. I, I have reviewed basically everything like uh, Yuzu and then the Cedar. I think there are like total five or six. So this perhaps is a sixth. So this is called Boade Cypress. Okay. So this one I saw. What I do, I have a habit that I told you I have certain pattern. I like to review certain fragrances like Aigna or something like Moschino or, you know, like similar houses that not everybody wants to talk about. Some underrated house. This is one underrated house. If this fragrance is brilliant because so far all the other ones from this line was affordable. And they were good, you know, the, especially the Bois de Vetiver was my favorite. So they have quite a few, quite nice ones, but they're also, some of them were like a little bit underwhelming. So let's see if this is good because I saw the green color. I saw the name Cypress, okay? So Cypress-based fragrances, I don't know. There are not many out there. So I wanted to get this, but retail is a little bit expensive. Do not pay retail. Retail can go up to $60, $65. If you look for discounts, you can get these under $40, okay? That's a good pricing. This is the packaging. And this is like more on the affordable side. So these are fragrances, people with a budget they would like to look at. They also have women's side. I think they released this one and uh, Flower de Pivoni or something. I forgot the name. Uh, Fleur de Pivoni or something. Together they released one for women, one for men. So I smell that one. That one, the women's one is brilliant. I'll review that sometimes. But this bottle looks very, very lovely. They have the cylindrical bottles. And you can see they have this nice <clears throat> shade of green and it just a little bit fades down. It looks like a very simple bottle, but I like the way the cap looks. It's very, very nice. You know, I like the coloration. It looks very green. Reminds me of uh, Coach uh, For Him Green. That one I reviewed. Similar um, theme. And the cap is snug fit. It clicks onto place. Not snug fit. It clicks onto place. Inside is green. So nice, you know. Like, let me show you the other bottle that I have. I think one nearby me. I sold out a few of the other ones. This one is what? Boa de Vetiva. Yeah, this is the Vetiva. So I had Boa de Amre. A few of the other ones. And sorry, my hair is shiny because I applied coconut oil <laughs> because you need to uh, do that sometimes. Uh, otherwise, your hair, I mean, the hair roots will die. So, yeah, I do talk irrelevant stuff. I know I'm guilty of that. But old people, what are you going to do? So, yeah, uh, let's talk about this. So, sprayer on these are okay. And I told you the price. The concentration is EDT. I'll show you the atomizer. Good. Shoots. Okay. No problem. And this fragrance, I think, is good for summer. Good for men. And it's a very nice, uh, how to say, fresh, mild, spicy, and not much green that I expected, but nice little sweet, uh, not bubblegummy also, like a sweet, spicy, mild fragrance, okay? And I did say mild because this one is not very long lasting, okay? I had better expectations because the vetiver one lasts a long time. So uh, initial spray, uh, let me tell the notes, mandarin orange, cardamom, lemon, uh, cypress, like the name. And then they have uh, water mint. Uh, I cannot read from. Oh man, lavender, clary sage, cashmere, and vetiver. So yeah, those are the notes. And um, this is from Fragrantica, thanks to them. So this house, first of all, Karl Lagerfeld classic. Not everybody's cup of tea. Some of the other ones, Karl Lagerfeld, they had. Uh, I bought. I reviewed. I would like to review more, but they are not really, really, really available. But their fragrances are decent. Recent time releases, they're decent. Nothing crazy. Ten out of ten. And I still am in search for something I can give like 9 or 10, you know. These kind of fragrances do not usually get more than 8 unless they are very, very solid, okay. So, uh, how is this? The scent profile on this is, to my nose, when I spray this, I really like the opening blast. It's very nice, minty, fresh, like toothpaste, you know, like you brush your teeth with toothpaste gel, right. Give me a second. Yeah, sorry guys, uh, I had to do an urgent message uh, to someone. 
so yeah i was saying uh by the way the color didn't match but sort of like greenish blue so yeah i was talking about this minty fresh uh, toothpaste to the gel kind you know like uh the toothpaste that you use so it's like a nice little refreshing opening for summer it's a summery vibe and the smell is something like this a little bit of a lemon and then they mentioned the uh, orange mandarin orange and the mint you get hint of that and it's like a synthetic sweetness it's a synthetic you smell this before there's nothing like crazy going on out here but a nice little combination with the cardamom or a little bit of a spice pink pepper or ginger if they use so it feels like a spicy fruity uh, citrusy opening and then the citruses sort of disappear after 10 minutes and then you start smelling those green properties they meant uh, maybe they meant cypress but uh, sadly for me i did not smell any cypress in this i mean like there are fragrances which i have okay perhaps what has cypress i forgot so fragrance which had that green like a uh, medicinal green note herbal note i did not pick up much from this it's basically very much like the same dna imagine dolce and gabbana uh, the one okay if that one has amber then some spices some sweetness it feels like it's in that category but imagine the dolce and gabbana the one made more uh, green like coach for him green meets the one okay this is the best way i can describe it so it's nice but the thing is when the heart hits like very quickly and that's gonna be there for about two hours and that's it there's no base there's no development i don't know if it's the high heat or what but this fragrance did not last on me simply and I, I bought this blind because they did not have any tester i like the way it smells but if you pay 45 dollars or 55 dollars you expect at least four or five hours of push this is not going to give you that it's a very thin fragrance it's a very citrusy and those body they talk about the vetiver clary sage cashmere and lavender uh, these are very thin okay like so it's a thin fragrance so you're gonna enjoy it like ck1 take it like that two two and a half hours tops then it's gone so longevity wise not very impressive okay so i'm disappointed in that a little bit but uh does it make up with good smell yeah it's a very pleasant smell you can literally bathe in this stuff you can spray like 30 sprays on you and then suddenly from one <laughs> application comes down here so you can finish this bottle within a year so let's say you got this for darn cheap end of the year um uh, let's say your a bargain bin or something like a clearance sale you get this perhaps for 20 bucks 15 dollars in americans you guys have this luck you know that we don't have we don't have tj max ross marshall's but some people say i got this for five bucks and i'm like looking at those posts sometimes it happens to me like asian dude i'm looking at it i'm like we are spending 30 40 50 dollars and you guys are getting those for five bucks and no wonder your collection is so huge <laughs> just kidding but you know like we don't get those prices the least this can go for is 35 bucks okay this is what i think but right now uh, i mean if you buy this uh, your expectation if it's like it's gonna power, perform or not uh, no it's not gonna perform okay so if you stay indoors okay let's say you stay indoors and you're gonna have some tv time you're gonna watch some game just took shower and just have some like snacks or some popcorns and stuff you're gonna have like one hour to two hours of the tv this is it this is a good fragrance so it reminds me a little bit of the type of fragrance like mugler cologne is without the neroli uh, without the soapiness but i really think this fragrance had more you know potential i would say from the whole line this is the one that disappointed me the most okay because it smells nice the opening is so promising but then boom nothing okay so perhaps uh, try before you buy i mean it it should be worth not more than 25 bucks okay if you get it for that price or below get it that's a good decent fragrance i mean there are a lot of fragrances that is not memorable this is not going to be memor memorable but i like the way the packaging looks and the smell is decent but doesn't last so overall this uh, release how much i would like to um, rate it i would rate this like uh, for the smell itself uh, and the bottle presentation price wise affordable let's give it a six out of ten okay decent fragrance nothing crazy nothing to hate about but nothing also to uh, remember by for next 10 years or so. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Let's do second one, which is a similar theme fragrance, but way better. Okay, we'll talk about it. Take care.